I'm a compatibilist about free will. I don't think there's any problem about free will. I think Hume and Locke nailed this thing a couple hundred years ago, and all this talk about free will is just mistaken. Wait, so we, we, meaning so we do have free meaning will? Meaning we have, I have the, I, well, what they said was the words free will don't even fit together. This is sort of conceptual analysis. Right. Am I now free to get up and walk out of this room? Boy, am I, right? Because yeah. I'm not a prisoner and in chains, right. all right? So I am free. That's just a fact. I'm not bound down. Does whether I walk up or not matter, depend on what my will is, what my volition is, what my own personal decisions are? Sure does. If I decided I'm just fed up with this, I'd get up and walk away. I'm not deciding that. <laughs> so yeah, I have free will. I'm sitting here with my own free will. End of story. I mean, yeah. I, there's no big, big mystery there. Once you carefully understand what you want out of, I mean, that's why you know, Dennett talks about the kinds of free will worth having. Yes, right. right. Yeah. That's right. What, what, what are you worried about about free will? I think when you get clear about that, you'll see, sure, you have it. I mean, you don't always have it. If I were bound down, I wouldn't have it. And if I were obsessive in some way that I couldn't really say I'm willing what I'm doing, or if, you, you know, if the doctor hits my knee and it goes up, that's not voluntary. Right. But, yeah. but the concern is sort of more, I mean, these, I, free will has never been a problem that I've, I've thought of too much about because it's sort of, yeah, right, exactly. I sort of, I no. feel like I have it, so I'm a pragmatist. I feel like I have it. But, you know, the question is like, right, if the laws of physics determine everything, then I don't have free will because the laws of physics already determined everything I'm going to do. But I think, A, you know, we don't understand consciousness so well. There's no. so many ways in which that, that line of argument doesn't work. And then quantum is so weird that who knows where, you know, it just, it just seems like it's a, that problem still is a holdover from sort of the Newtonian view, you know, that right. like every Although, molecule. I mean, I can't tell you how many neuroscientists I've interviewed who say free will is an illusion. It's a myth because it all comes from the brain, it all becomes from neural connections, and that's why we think the way we do. Mm -hmm. So get rid of the whole notion of free will. That seems no, like no, a, None of that would challenge anything that Tim had said before. Right. That. right. That's right. 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 It's so, consistent with it's yeah. coming from this, your neural this, activity. It's compatibilism, from your I think, that you yeah. mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, yes. the, a lot of those guys do the wrong kind of experiment, quite honestly, because they ask you to make random choices, yes. right. which are uninteresting choices. The interesting choices in your personal life are the ones you think Thinking. hard about. Right. Right. You, you rehearse different possibilities. You try and think through what their consequences will be. If you put me in an MRI when I'm doing that, you know, there's going to be a structure. That is the structure by which I come to make a deliberate, conscious decision to do something. But they ask you to do something like, oh, just randomly pick this or that. Right. Was it, you know. And they see, they, they see an impulse before oh, yeah. your yeah. hand moves. It's right. like, oh, oh, you don't yeah. have free will. You know, it's like, yeah. well, what does that mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we've just resolved the free will debate here. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, five minutes. Now, what's One up? down. Set him up and lock him out. Here, let's go up here.